when you talk about traveling Australia and doing the top end especially, this is sort of what I sort of think of straight away. Go cook a dinner. 66 degrees, so. Now, this is how unlucky you can get out here. We are finally making our way over to Northern Territory. It's been a few years, but we're getting there now. We're right now on the halfway mark of the Savannah Way. Savannah Way is massive and we only just find that out. We've done no research at all. It is hot, <laughs> hot as sin and my feet are on fire. Eh? I haven't bloody remembered my shoes again, but uh, the car and van's hooked up here and uh, it's all tickety-boo ready for these harder tracks. And we don't know what to expect with this one, whether we're doing some gravel tracks um, or whether it's bitumized the whole way. We have no idea. All we know is we're heading out to a spot called Leichhard Falls, I think it's called but that's not where the adventure begins we started off in Karumba and uh, we were lucky enough to get ourselves on a fishing charter there and then we're going to go check out Leichhardt Falls Today we have got something super special planned. We cannot catch a fish to save our life, can we? We need a little bit of help. So we've booked a fishing charter here in Karumba. Surely, Karumba of all places, we can catch a bloody fish and with assistance. Yeah, <laughs> so surely they've been catching heaps of fish. Like the boat, the boat ramp um, cleaning table has been full. Let's get on this charter and uh, head out to see a bit at Karumba and fish the Gulf of Carpentaria. Let's go, I cannot wait. Excited? A little bit. <laughs> the most inexperienced fisherman on the boat. <laughs> oh, go, Sarah. Oh, go, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, first fish. Thank you're you. cooking dinner. That's like shit. No, you're cooking dinner. It was the first person not to catch a fish. Oh, look at that. It's a whore. Are you kidding? What is that? <laughs> Salmon. <laughs> That's sick, Sarah. It's a monster. I didn't think I was going to be able to get it in then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute fish killing. <laughs> Oh, 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 I landed in the net. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, net. That was like a three point shot. I reckon that's the biggest one yet, Sarah. What the hell happened there? Yeah. Oh, Aww. The count, yeah, counts. <laughs> <laughs> Fish on. Another little one. <laughs> Sorry. You're kidding. Every time I get one, you get one. Oh. <laughs> steady, steady. <laughs> Five four, five to Sarah, four to me. I think I'm gonna lose. Oh well, that was pretty fun. Caught a few fish. Six kilo, I could happily go home now, and I'd be stoked. <laughs> so I don't know if you can hear us, but the tally is, um, I think I'm on six and Sarah's on five. So just let the record show yeah, that I'm know. winning. No, you're not. I've got the biggest one. Yeah, Sarah's probably got the biggest one, I reckon.
Well, that's success. Look at that. <laughs> I reckon it's $300 worth of fish right there. Got our money's worth, that's for sure. How good was today? Like fishing in the Gulf Carpentaria, that's a bucket list thing. Come, Come home, home with, with a all bag these of salmon, fish. Blue nose salmon. Good chewing apparently. So. But we've got a filleton now, so let's go Wee. to the filleting. <laughs> oh, sorry, I have to filleton now because I won the fishing comp. And uh, normally Sarah out fishing me, so now I've got to fill it all these buggers, and that's probably the worst part about catching them all, I reckon. Yucky. Most fishermen <laughs> would agree with that. Alright, the worst part. The worst part about catching fish is definitely cleaning it. Got a few fillets done already. These are on the smaller fish. I thought I'd practice a few times before <laughs> I hack up a big fish. Oh yeah, how good's that? And these are the ones that I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Some bloke reckons he dropped a barrow out there this morning, yeah. out the front, so yeah, yeah. who knows? <laughs> oh, I'm knackered, catching all the fish today, catching the biggest fish. Got your wine glass, <laughs> got your wine glass hiking through the bloody car park. And my water. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> How sick was today? Fish and charter, and then to cap it off with a few beers with mates at the sunset, it is insane. You've got to come to Karumba. Seriously, you do. And people think catching fish off the beach, so you don't even need to do a charter. So Unless you're us. Unless you're us, and you can't catch fish, so <laughs> anyway. But sick day, um, yeah. I don't think tomorrow can beat today. That's how good today was, so. Anyway, we're keen to do tomorrow because we're going down a bloody rough dirt track, and we're going proper bush tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, it should be a sick day. We're taking the setup off road finally, and it's going to be bloody corrugated. So, fingers crossed, we don't break anything. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Uh, if you are, make sure you like and subscribe. It's the easiest way to support us, and it keeps us on the road doing what we're doing today. So, yeah, if you can, please do that for us. It means a lot. Plus, we're going to be doing some subscribe. <laughs> Plus, we're going to be doing a subscriber giveaway soon. So if you aren't subscribed, you're definitely going to miss out. We've got some merch and we're going to be flinging some shirts around. So get amongst that, subscribe, back to the video. All right, so we left Karumba. We've dri driven a few k's through Normanton. Now we're on the normanton Burktown development road. Now this one's heading out to Leichhardt Falls. Uh, we have no idea about this joint. I just love the fun of the adventure and, and not knowing it. Even the corrugations like puts a smile on my face. I know I'm a bit tapped, but... Anyway, let's head out to Leichhardt Falls. We're in the middle of the desert. How sick is this? There's no one around. I just dropped two fish. They could have been barramundi too while we're having lunch here. So let's jump in and uh, yeah, hit the road. Gravel. I was actually really hoping it'd be a little bit gravelly on this track because normally if it's a bit corrugated and gravelly it keeps a lot of the people away so it might be a hidden gem in there. I know a lot of people know about this spot but fingers crossed there's a site for us at the end of the road. Just dropped the tyres and before we went past the car and I flicked a stone up. Now this is how unlucky you can get out here. Uh, it's cracked the windscreen. I don't know if you can see that but it's going the whole way across the bloody window there and it is quickly spreading so i've dropped a little bit of super glue in the crack and that actually is meant to stop it i'm pretty sure i've heard that somewhere around the traps that if you put super glue in it it'll stop it and slow it down so hopefully it doesn't mangle our whole bloody windscreen and just keep cracking through but um if you ever wanted to know too how hot a black caravan would be out in the outback too i've um got this little radar gun this is an eye check radar well it's not a it's not a radar it's like a laser temperature sensor so let's have a look on the on the silver van part of the van it's 46.1 degrees and on the black part it's 66 degrees so 40 46 66 van let's see the front so the black part is 45 degrees and yeah the, the silver part is 30 so you can see right there having a black van definitely affects it um, when you're out here and it's real hot bloody hot out here 
fingers cro crossed that little wife's tail super glue hack stitches up this window. Bloody hell, crack window. No, no, crap. Spewing. You'd probably be able to see it better from there. Goes whole way across the window, but you get that. It's our first one in three years, so you take that any day of the week. Found some snake wood, eh? This is good, good firewood. Got a full load. You reckon it's gonna stay there? Kidding? Are you joking? <laughs> There's a donkey hanging out with the horse. Oh, you scared him. Look what you've done. <laughs> the donkey was hanging out with the horses. <laughs> oh, got some firewood. <laughs> See them big bulls with the horns? Far out, they were massive. Bloody hell, I wouldn't want to come up against them in a dark alley. I reckon I'd get me ass kicked. You would. <laughs> or a better word, ass torn. That doesn't sound good, actually. Let's see if we can sneak up on this bugger, eh? Wicked day, 32 degrees. And uh, yeah, we're cruising. Look at that, Hema's telling us where we're going. This is living Barry. we've made it so we've rocked up here we're just crossing the last little creek here and then we're gonna roll into camp but I, trying to wake up. I don't think yeah Sarah had a bit of a schnooze eh? anytime we hit the gravel I freaking fall asleep I don't, so blame, weird. I don't blame you it wasn't the most eventful road but anyway there's a couple caravans here there's plenty of water so hopefully the falls are running but uh this is sick like heart falls this is a free camp here although it's very very busy we have snagged a spot right next to the water by ourselves how good's that <laughs> look at that our own little private water hole that we can't swim so in because there's crocs yeah i don't know if there's crocodiles in there but mm. not gonna <laughs> risk it <laughs> Can't hear me, but that's Leichhardt Falls. How sick is that? And there's a little, there's a little freshie sitting over there. I don't know if you can see that. That's a freshwater crocodile. Anyway, this is pretty sick. Definitely worth the drive out here. Sarah's up there, and uh, we may have found ourselves a little rock pool that definitely doesn't have a croc in it. So we're gonna cool off because it is hot as sin out here. Is that good? <laughs> so good. Refreshing? That's our bark is that. How good's the view?
pretty cold. sick is this when you talk about traveling Australia and doing the top end especially this is sort of what I sort of think of straight away just a perfect spa bar full to yourself with that view that you guys just saw behind you there we're gonna head back now uh, crank up the fire and have a few frothies but this is living Barry I didn't even need to say it I, yeah it's just insane you definitely have to come to Leichhardt Falls if you're up here so sick steak sandwiches but a bit of a twist Tamara has made us some fresh sourdough so we're gonna slice that up and have steak sandwiches on the Weber there's our steaks give it to Keelan there you go thank you I'll oh, cook that it's probably a little bit too early for them actually what you don't want me to cook them yet <laughs> just wait five minutes yeah <laughs> right. how sick is this spot but the barbie's warming up I almost didn't even need to turn the gas on it was that hot today but uh check this out what a location. Sick little water hole out the front. Got the vans popped up here. Steak sangers for dinner. Couple beers. That's living Barry. Do you reckon there's any fish in there? Um, there's definitely little fish, but edible fish, I don't know. You reckon it's worth me having a flick? <laughs> I mean, you might look a little bit silly, but. Imagine if I pulled the meadery out of there. Oh. What do you reckon that is? Medium that's, rare? I'd say, yeah. What does oh. everyone in the comments reckon? That's medium rare, eh? Oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Dibs that one. <laughs> How good is this? Look at this dinner. It's off its head. Yum. That dinner is well off its head, and this spot is also off its head. Is also <laughs> off its head. It doesn't even shut. Fire, homemade, that's huge. homemade sourdough. Steak sanger. Chewy. <laughs> That's a budget steak. Looks good. End of the tomato. Always healings. Just go eat, then fire. Then we'll see you guys in the morning. What was that? Steak sanger with a beer. Yum. Boobs. Morning, your bloody turkeys. Anyway, we had a sick night's sleep. So peaceful out in the desert here. All you can hear is the birds chirping and uh, the bats shitting on your van. But uh, we've woken up on this tropical outback oasis. Bloody been drinking this new coffee we've been trying and uh, we've had it now for a few months. And it's safe to say we're bloody hooked on it and we thought we'd share it with you guys. So, Blackstone Road, um, these guys are legends and they make some sick coffee. We've tried um, all flavours, but we can't pick our favourite yet. Yeah, so at the moment we're drinking Daybreak, but we've also got a few other flavours up here, like Sidewinder, um, and they all vary in caffeine level, but they all taste like a really nice, 
full body coffee. Like we drink coffee up, up drink six a day personally, or well, sometimes even more than that. So I like to class myself as some sort of coffee connoisseur and I've drank a lot of shit coffee before. <laughs> And uh, this is definitely my favourite um, for flavour and stuff. Anyway, if you were looking for a new coffee brand, don't worry if you weren't, but uh, Blackstone Road Daily Dose, caffeine and gasoline. How sick is that slogan? So, yeah, have a try. Go on their website. SKT will get you a discount, 10% off. And, uh, yeah, you definitely won't regret it. Uh, we love this stuff. And, yeah, it is our favourite coffee by far. This is safe. This is how someone almost died yesterday. <laughs> 